If you're like me, you love chocolate, and some of the chocolate boxes you get are just too cute or too nice to throw away. And some of them are just plain little square boxes that, you know, aren't bad and you just haven't gotten around to tossing them. This DIY is about making a jewelry box holder from chocolate boxes and recycled cardboard. The world needs more jewelry boxes, so why not make your own and customize it? I added a small little light cube into mine, so just in case if I can't see or I'm out somewhere, I have a nice little light to help me see what jewelry I have available. Here's what you'll need. You'll need chocolate boxes, obviously. I have this red one and this small white one here, and I'm only going to be using the bottom of this one. And of course, it fits nice inside, so make sure you have one that fits inside the other. I am going to be using this box of panko breadcrumbs for recycled cardboard and of course your painting utensils. I'm using nail polish again and of course hot glue and hot glue gun. Oh and don't forget, you need scissors. Maybe. I don't know. So first make sure you clear off your jewelry box base from any residue chocolate and any stickers. Now begin placing your other box inside your uh, in your box and figure out what you want it to look like inside. Here I'm cutting up this panko bread box like I stated earlier. I'm going to be using this as recycled cardboard for the dividers in my jewelry box. I'm going to be cutting off all these extra little side bits and using this big rectangle part and the back rectangle part and gluing them together with hot glue so I have a very nice white even base and you know just lightly press it down and wait for it to dry. So now I'm going to glue in place this big square chocolate box inside the base of the jewelry box and now begin cutting out your divider shapes. I'm first going to start cutting out strips of the cardboard and measuring out how big it can be and seeing from there. So it curves a little bit inward, so just slowly cut off extra pieces so that it fits nice and snug. Remember we're going to be using hot glue to make it fit, so make it fit first and then add hot glue versus trying to supplement. Be careful if you cut too much, it won't stick, so you can't use that piece. What a fail. Once you have the right size pieces, go ahead and add hot glue, carefully insert it into your jewelry box piece area and press into place firmly. Make sure to get the sides and the bottom only. You don't really need to do the top and repeat this several times until you have your desired look. I'm doing a six box row next to the medium sized box and then I'm going to keep a long rectangle box at the bottom. So here you can see I'm just going to cut out small squares for the dividers. This is what it looks like now, it's unpainted, and I'm going to seal the edges of that cardboard with hot glue. Obviously you know what that looks like, so I don't need to film it. But, ta-da! This looks so good so far. You could leave it this way and keep it in a natural state, or you can get going to coloring. So I'm going to be coloring the inside with a black acrylic because I definitely don't have enough black nail polish to cover the entirety of the inside. So. Let's get painting! It's done. Just kidding. With the power of editing, it is done, and look how nice it looks. It's really hard to see on camera unless I turn it left and right with the... You can stop here if that's what you like and you want to leave it just as it is as a chocolate box, but I'm going to be adding more nail polish to the outside. I started with a nice black base so that it covers the red. The red is just not what I want. I don't want a red jewelry box case, so I'm going to be pouring on multiple different colors of purple, blues, teals, and maybe light color yellow and greens, and I'm going to be blending it in. The look I'm going for is like a Yoshitaka Amano, like water painting galaxy look, and it's slowly coming through kind of like spiritual kind of look. And you'll see more as I keep painting it. This is only the first layer and I ended up using multiple nail polishes. So the dark purple, the light blue were one. I used a glitter one and I ended up using a different metallic blue. It just became a huge mess. Now I'm putting a top coat. This is all totally optional. You could stop wherever you want. 
But me, I decided to add glitter and then I added the light cube. Light cube is totally unnecessary, but I thought it would be cool to incorporate a light in a jewelry box because I've never seen that before. Position your light where you would like it to stay and make sure that the button is easily pressable. Since I'm using this drink cube, I have a good button and I'm able to put it anywhere. Make sure to hot glue it down and firmly press it into place and test using the light and closing it. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure your light can fit inside your jewelry box. And ta-da, I am done. This is the final look of my jewelry box case from chocolate boxes and recycled cardboard and nail polish. had so much fun making this DIY and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So if you did, make sure to flick that thumb and show me that you liked it. Leave me a comment if you love eating chocolate and make sure to subscribe by pushing that red button down below and I will see you in another video.